here at 1938 Cheyenne Place, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Called out for sewer line backup today. We are approximately 96 feet out. I hit the blockage that cleared the line roughly 90 feet out, sent about 100 foot of cable through the sewer, which should have put me at the city tap. As you can see, it's kind of hard to tell. We might be in a little bit of a belly here, but in front of my camera, when it kind of focuses, if I can get forward just a little bit, you can kind of see. You can kind of see it's dipping down, and you can see a little bit of the outline of the green uh, SDR pipe, which is the city tap. We are kind of sitting in some water, so actually, it might just be the flow. It looks like it's still flowing, but you can kind of see right where it drops down. There's a, just a touch of different colored pipe. I believe that's the city tap. I can't get my camera pushed all the way to it. So we're going to start pulling back and showing what the sewer looks like and kind of what what we found today that was causing the blockage. This appears to be, from the looks of it and the color and the condition, I'm going to say clay piping. I could be wrong, it could be cast iron. I'm going to guess clay piping. So right here at about 89 to 90 feet, my camera kind of drops. Um, below water, you can kind of see there off to the right, it looks like a separation in the pipe. Pulling back, you can see here onto that right hand side, there were, there's some roots coming in. They're not a concern as of right now. We've got them taken care of. Um, that could have been what was causing the blockage. That's about the point where I hit. And then once I busted through, all the water that was in the system sucked through and cleared out. Overall, coming back right here, you can see where my camera kind of dips. You can see there appears to be a separation between the two pipes at that joint along the bottom. Um, right here, again, just starting to get possible little separations. These old clay cast iron pipes is really calm. You see how my camera kind of jumps right there coming back again. Another separation there. That's why that water's kind of standing there. It's got to get raise up high enough to get above that lip where the two pipes have separated before it can flow. It's not creating an obstruction. You can see there, there are some roots on the top of it as well. Another little spot where they join. Not a big issue there. Um, kind of going a little fast here. Right there. Not terrible. Nothing to flinch at, I don't think. Obviously, right here, I'm coming into some sort of transition. Another fittings there. I'm still approximately 58 feet outside. So, right there, you can see on this pipe, there are some roots. They don't look terrible. Um, We've actually been out here recently, so the last time we were out here, we maybe took care of those. Maybe we didn't get it hit all the way last time we were out here, and there was still a little bit left over that caused the blockage that happened today. I'm not sure. I didn't hit anything solid enough to tell me that it was roots. It could have just been a soft blockage. Again, some roots in there. Um, with how far out the roots are, I'm going to suggest a four pound treatment of Root X. Get that flushed into the system, let it sit for four to six hours for best results. Again, you got a little belly, a little separation there where the water just has to get up above that level. This is eh, eh, 
same thing, just little separations here and there. Um, right there's one, you can kind of see how there's standing water. My camera kind of has to be forced to go up over it. The bottom of that pipe is separated. No roots are coming in, but these are just things to be aware of. As long as the sewer has good enough flow, right there again, just not terrible. But something to be aware of that some of these pipes are kind of separating and could be the cause of some of our problems here. If solids are getting held up, toilet paper build up, uh, getting caught and not making its way past could be causing the blockage which caused the lines to back up in the tub and the floor drain today. A little bit of water here might have, our flow might be slowed down a little bit. But looks like it's still kind of rolling. We are definitely inside the house. This is old cast iron pipe, I'm guessing. I missed, must have missed the transition from might all be cast iron. I'm not 100%. I'm guessing cast iron underneath the house. It's pretty typical. So coming back, everything appears to look really good. To be honest, we're coming up the toilet now. So this is the hole that we use. We access through the toilet today. There is a clean out right there, but that plug appears to be stuck on there probably corroded um, we didn't want to take the risk of breaking it today so I decided to go through the toilet we were down in the basement in the bathroom there's the tub where it backed up appears to be clean and flowing now shouldn't have any problems here anytime soon that's my dirty movie on this Sunday hope you guys enjoyed thank you